In the tranquil city of Amritsar, India, tragedy struck on that fateful day in 2018. As the evening sun painted the sky with hues of orange, the bustling festival of Ducera was in full swing. Little did the joyous crowd gathered near the railway tracks know that their lives were about to be shattered by an unimaginable disaster. It was a night etched in the annals of history, a train disaster that would leave scars on the hearts of Amritsar forever. The outskirts of Amritsar, Punjab, witnessed a tragic event on the ill-fated day of October 19, 2018. As people celebrated Dussehra against the backdrop of a colorful sky at night, two Indian Railways passenger trains collided with a group of revelers. At Joda Patak, an enthusiastic crowd gathered around the tracks, eagerly anticipating the incineration of Ravana's figurine. Unbeknownst to them, the happy gathering they had planned would soon become a nightmarish experience. The DMU local passenger train, which runs on diesel, began its journey from Jalandhar to Amritsar in the west. The Amritsar Howrah Mail had just gone by traveling in the opposite direction. Witnesses remember the train approaching, but unfortunately there was no warning signal sounded to alert the spectators of the imminent hazard. As the locomotive approached, chaos erupted. In an effort to prevent a catastrophic incident, the driver aggressively honked the horn and urgently hit the emergency brakes. The confusion escalated when the train was bombarded with rocks by the mob impeding its stop. The results were emotionally devastating. A community is in mourning and devastated as it lost 59 lives and around 100 individuals were harmed. Navjat Kaur Situ, an, a distinguished member of the Congress and a special guest at the gathering, was among the guests present. Situ made it clear that this event was a customary occurrence that took place every year, and he had communicated to the railway officials to reduce their velocity. On October 19, 2018, Amrit Sar experienced a devastating incident that highlights the importance of commemorating and preventing avoidable casualties during celebratory occasions. This idea should inspire us to create a global society where festivities are accompanied by long-lasting joy and complete safety. Following the terrible incident, the distressing truth was revealed. Elected officials have verified a minimum of 59 fatalities. On the evening of October 19, 50 bodies were discovered, with the remaining nine being found on the subsequent day. The train's tremendous force resulted in severe damage, causing victims to be dismembered and mutilated, complicating the process of identifying them. The majority of those affected were migrant laborers and their households from Uttar Pradesh and Bihar who had settled in the locality. Unexpectedly, their existence was ended abruptly, leaving grieving families and broken communities behind. Navjat Singh Sidhu visited the survivors and bereaved families at a local hospital with a heavy heart during a time of sorrow. He came face to face with the indescribable agony of two women who had suffered the loss of all their loved ones, including children, spouses, and even extended family members. The sacred Shichya Mata Temple in Amritsar served as a cremation ground for most of the identified deceased individuals who were being paid tribute to. A melancholic parting to those who departed prematurely as a handful were returned to their places of origin for their final resting place. Despite the sadness, disturbing accounts emerge that certain people exploited the turmoil by reportedly pilfering valuable possessions from those affected and left alive. Families expressed their distress over the fact that their loved one's personal belongings had not been returned despite receiving their bodies. The occurrence is a poignant indication of the extent of anguish that people go through and underscores the importance of displaying empathy during unfortunate circumstances. It urges us to unite in solidarity, guaranteeing that we provide empathy, respect, and fairness in response to devastating tragedies. After the tragic event, Amarinder Singh, the chief minister of Punjab, declared a significant initiative. He announced a sum of roughly 7,100 US dollars as reimbursement for the families of each deceased individual and also offered free medical care for the injured. The railways did not make an immediate determination regarding providing compensation. A day of mourning was declared by the state as a mark of respect for the victims, with Chief Minister Singh initiating an inquiry to determine the cause of the accident. Meanwhile, Minister Navjat Singh Sidhu, along with his wife, pledged to adopt all the children who lost their parents, providing them with education and taking care of their expenses. Financial assistance was also extended to women who lost their husbands in the tragedy. The condolences poured in from the highest offices as Prime Minister Narinda Modi and President Ramnath Kovind expressed their sympathies to the grieving families, hoping for the speedy recovery of the injured. 
Amidst the sorrow, video footage revealed a disturbing sight of people filming the aftermath on their mobile phones, drawing criticism from former Jammu and Kashmir Chief Minister Omar Abdullah, who questioned the crowd's reaction. Feeling the demand for justice, locals staged a sit-in protest the day after the incident, taking to the railway tracks and demanding action from officials and the train driver. Their voices echoed calls for adequate compensation for the victims, while some advocated for government jobs for the affected families. It took 40 hours for railway services to resume in the area, underscoring the profound impact of the tragedy. Railways Minister Piyush Goyal, who was in the United States when the tragic accident occurred, abruptly ended his visit and hurried back to India, highlighting the seriousness of the situation. After the unfortunate event, the pathway connecting Jalantar and Amritsar was put on hold, resulting in major disruptions to train operations. The aftermath of the calamity resulted in the cancellation of 37 trains, diversion of 16 trains, and truncation of 18 train journeys, causing passengers and commuters to deal with unforeseen difficulties. Mano Sinha, the Minister of State for Railways, has acknowledged that the Railways Administration has not been informed regarding the whereabouts or schedule of the event, which has sparked concerns about the absence of early notification. According to a high-ranking official of the Indian Railways, the occurrence constitutes a blatant infringement as the operator encountered challenging circumstances like the limited visibility due to the dense smoke and a curved track. The train's conductor notified the Amritsar Junction Station Master of the incident promptly and both the Punjab Police and Railway Police detained him for further inquiry. The Minister of State, Mano Shinya, has come forward to support the driver and refused to hold him accountable, claiming that there was no act of carelessness on his part. He further declared that there would be no punitive action taken against him. The driver's letter depicted the frightening experience of the accident. Despite the driver's efforts to stop and alert the crowd with a horn, a group of people started throwing stones at the train, leaving no choice but to proceed to the following station for safety. The occurrence brought attention to the necessity of enhancing communication and collaboration among event planners and railway officials to avoid similar unfortunate incidents. The incident also sparked inquiries into the adequacy of safety protocols and underscored the difficulties that locomotive operators encounter when unexpectedly facing impediments. We have reached the end of our report on the devastating occurrence that took place on the outskirts of Amritsar, Punjab, on October 19, 2018, during the vibrant celebration of Dussehra by Hindus. There was a collision between two Indian Railways passenger trains and a group of individuals who had assembled on the tracks. The consequences of the event were severe, resulting in the death of 59 people and injuries sustained by approximately 100 individuals. Subsequent to the tragedy, demonstrations surfaced urging the authorities to take measures, provide satisfactory remuneration, and offer employment opportunities in the public sector for those impacted by the incident. The railway authorities encountered inspection as doubts were raised by their awareness regarding the festival schedule and venue. The driver was apprehended for inquiry after promptly reporting the occurrence, but he justified his position by claiming that he was unaware of the presence of the people on the tracks. The occurrence highlighted the necessity for better safety protocols and communication practices for gatherings that involve the public.